<clears throat> All right, well, hey everybody, Grim Green, GrimGreen.com back here today. I was going to save this for the vlog, but I figured it's a little bit too important and I needed to put something up sooner rather than later. This is this is kind of a huge deal. So I, I was waking up this morning and checking all my emails and this, that, and the other, and I'm just getting flooded in my inbox of all this stuff from Casa, all this stuff from Not Blowing Smoke. I go on Reddit, I see it all over ECR, which is great. Here it is. Here, here's what it is. Here's what we need to do if we want to continue using vapor products uh, in, the, in the very near future. So I'll just summarize this. I got an email from Casa, and I'm going to share all these links down in the description for everything that you need to do. But I got a call to action from Casa. It says, tell the White House to urge the FDA to rework the deeming regulations so that life-saving vapor products are on the market. And the first thing I saw this morning when I woke up was a tweet from Gregory Conley. Uh, he says the TVECA, uh, which is the Tobacco uh, Tobacco Vapor Electronic Cigarette Association, he says the TVECA released what appears to be the table of contents of the new deeming regulations. Looks like no major changes, which equals industry destroyed. Industry destroyed. If you look. I'm not going to lay down some ultimatum here and uh, tempt people with uh, free giveaways and stuff like that for participating. If you're a vapor, you need to do this. <laughs> that's, that's what it comes down to. If you're a vapor, you need to do this. If you're a vapor and you don't do your part to contact the White House and urge the FDA to rework these deeming regulations, you're basically giving a giant middle finger to every other vapor shop owner, business owner in the United States. Today, Tuesday, October 27th, longtime vaping opponent, the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, or the CTFK, has organized a call to action to urge President Obama to put pressure on the FDA to finalize their tobacco deeming regulations. What CTFK and others are failing to mention that is if the deeming regulations are enacted as they are written right now, 99% of the vapor products currently on the market will be gone within two years. Gone. There's not going to be a black market. You're not going to be able to get anything. It will be gone, make no mistake, the current proposed regulations will have a devastating impact on consumers and business owners alike, not to mention the obvious, obvious damage to public health. So CASA has some things in place. First, if you have not already done so, it is crucial that you send an email to your congressional representative and senators asking them to support and co-sponsor H.R. 2058. We need to support H.R. 2058, a bill that would stop the FDA from banning 99% of the vapor products currently on the market. Second, take a moment on Wednesday, October 28th, this Wednesday, October 28th, to call the White House. And they have the number right here on the website, 202-456-1111. 202-456-1111. One, one. And they even give you little talking points to say, I'm calling to urge President Obama to protect consumer choice and demand that the FDA rework its tobacco deeming regulations so that the existing wide variety of e-cig and vapor products can remain on the market. As it's written, the FDA's proposal and e-cig regulations will remove 99% of the vapor products from the market. Please Briefly share your personal story about switching to vapor products. Make sure to include any improvements to your health you have experienced or perhaps your doctor has observed. A variety of flavors are important to you. Be sure to mention that too. Lastly, thank them and say that we can hope we, hope we can count on the president to protect adult access to these life-saving products. 202-456-1111. Wednesday, October 28th call. Just call. I'm going to be calling. I've already sent an email. I'm already going to be calling. Share this around on social media. This is fucking more important than your sweet hand check. I get it that you got a new tank and I get it that you like your new mod and I get it that it has a really low voltage drop and you can blow some super wig clouds, bro clouds. This fucking hell way, way more important. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for using obscenities. I know I'm not the only one that's passionate about this. Every vapor, every vapor should be passionate about this. 
and I'm, I'm trying not to get myself all worked up here, but this is incredibly, incredibly crucial. So I'm going to cut this video short. I'm going to give you guys a chance to send an email. I'll have so many, I'll have all the important links you need in the description to the blog call to act, to the CASA call to action post, the White House number, how to send an email. Additionally, I'm going to include uh, the FDA regs.info uh, link. This is the not blowing smoke kind of uh, version of it. This is their uh, call to action. It's all really important, you guys. It's all really so important. If you don't want to smoke cigarettes, if you want to continue using vapor products as we have been, you have to do this. You just have to. Don't let me down. I'm counting on all of you to make this right and to let not just the president and not just the FDA, but the world know that these vapor products are life-saving products and adults need access to them in order to not smoke cigarettes. Okay? That's just where I'm going to leave it. That's just where I'm going to leave it. That's it. I'm going to have links in the description. Thank you so much, everybody. I, I really hope that everybody gets on this. That would be amazing. Uh, you would gain super, super cool friendship respect points from me if you take part in this, which I really, really hope you do. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. As always, let's keep on vaping.